Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at the Ghost of Tsushima video, the 1.1 version update trailer. And honestly, it's, it's fucking wild, man. It's so wild how this single player game is putting out this much content for free, by the way. And people really out here defending other companies that are doing shady shit, releasing shitty games on on launch and then have the balls to throw throw in microtransactions but here goes to Tsushima not only giving us a quality game from the get-go but then saying yo you're getting multiplayer you're getting this you're getting that you're gonna see what we're getting so let's look at the video real quick honestly it's just wild that companies like this still exist that are not only pushing out great content but it's completed content. It's complete. It's a complete game. And then they're just adding on to it. Wild. Crazy. Who would have thought the formula would have worked? So the first thing we look at is custom gear loadouts, which is amazing. Now, am I salty that a single player game got it before, you know, something like Destiny 2 where, you know, loadouts are kind of needed and the ability to save said custom gear would be fucking amazing? Yes, I'm a little peeved, but you know what? Ghost of Tsushima, you're killing it, and I love it. So, let's continue on. So, obviously, you can customize your character in however which way you want. This is going to be amazing for, tip, like, certain points. The cool thing is, we're getting a new game plus with a new horse and a new merchant with new dyes. These dyes look fucking sick. My guy, squeeze me. I love all these. Now... I'm going to stop this one real quick because we're getting new powerful charms plus new trophies, which is something that excites me a little more than than it really should. But on performing Heavenly Strike, there's a chance for lightning to strike a nearby enemy. What? Excuse me, my guy? The Way of the Flame inflicts additional damage. Heavy attacks spread fire to nearby enemies. That one is dope as fuck. I'm really all about this. The coolest part though is obviously Ghost of Tsushima Legends. This is gonna be the coolest part because we already knew we were getting like a multiplayer, but we're getting a four player survival mission. Missions, let me let me reiterate that. Four player survival missions plus a two player story missions post launch raid, four unique classes which we already knew. But here's the cool thing. Look at this. Look at all of this customization that you can do. And I know people are going to be like, but that's just like one helmet. That's like four helmets, but they're each different colors. And it's like, yeah, but it's fucking free, my guy. Like, it's really hard to bitch about content when it's free. Like, realistically, not only that, it's like, look at all of these helmets. Look at all of these armor sets. And we didn't even see the sword kits. This... This is dope, especially since it kind of looks like you have to actually unlock each armor set, which is dope. Yeah, as you guys can see right there, rank reach eight. So what I think is most likely the case is that basically the first one is kind of like the one you're just given the first one, but then the next ones are the like mastery levels. So once you get the red one, that's when it's like, oh, you must have done something to get that. Same thing for this one, same thing for this one, same thing for... Like, it, it's cool as fuck, my guy. Look at this one. Look at that. That looks cool. That looks fire. Personally, I love shit like this. We can also see Spirit Animal class ability. What the fuck does that even mean? I'm excited. Right here. Gear, helmet. It's... Bro, I swear to God, I'm just... I'm at heart right now. I'm excited because I want to look cool. We also get the a Legends photo, which I don't know if you guys are aware, but this looks pretty fucking fire, especially this one. This one looks really cool. I'm really excited for this so I can do the thumbnails. And then we get some generic gameplay that we've already seen. But, dude, the amount of content we're getting for a free update, by the way, like let me just reiterate that as much as I can. It's a free update to a single-player game. And the... The base game portion that, that is getting a free update, you can argue that it's small, but again, it's a free update. It's just wild that we're getting one. Version 1.1, 1 
I, from what it seems, we're going to be getting version 1.2, 1.3, and so on. Bro, the fact that this company not only gave us a complete game that was actually fire as fuck, but they're adding content on top of the base game already. I, I personally love this shit. I eat this shit up. I'm almost tempted to return my Destiny 2's uh, Beyond Light Collector's Edition just to buy this Collector's Edition for Ghost of Tsushima. Because this, this is dope, bro. This is so consumer friendly, bro. This is literally like, hey, thank you for buying our game, for enjoying it. Here's a free update. The next update, if it was paid, I'd be like, bro, here's my money. Because this shit is cool. This shit feels like a, like a sincere thank you. Not like, you know, a season where they're like, oh yeah, here, here's a season pass. Plus some stuff from the store. And, oh, you got the collector's edition? No, nah, it's okay. You still have to buy all the, all the stuff from the store. But, you know... You might never know, the store might give you a secret mission or something, even though we haven't heard that in a while, but you know, what the fuck do I know? This game, all on the other hand, bro, uh, I'm, this is literally me just sucking the hardest cock for Sucker Punch. They are doing it right, I love it. Finally, it's been a while, and I'm excited to see more of Sucker Punch. More of just not Ghost of Tsushima, but their other stuff that may, they may be working on. I'm already, like, on board. This is literally the same situation that, like, CD Projekt Red was with. With, uh, The Witcher 3. A lot of people love The Witcher 3. Fucking, they wrote you a thank you letter. And from there, I was like, they can do no wrong in my eyes. Unless they actually do wrong, you know what I mean? But, the same thing with Sucker Punch. They're now, now on my good list. They're on my list that I'm like, I will literally look at your content or whatever you're trying to do with even more excitement than anything else because you've earned my trust. This is the type of shit that you earn trust. I can't say that for a lot of companies, Bungie included. So, you know, thanks Sucker Punch. Thank you for being fucking dope. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Best believe I'm excited to fucking play this. It's coming out this Friday. If you have not purchased Ghost of Tsushima, go purchase that shit. It's guaranteed going to be one of your favorite games. Uh, if you like just Japanese stuff in general. It's one of my favorite games, hands down. I'm definitely going to scoop up the collector's edition because I need that shit in my life. But again... Thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link in the description below. I think I said this already. <laughs> Anywho, be safe, guys. You know what's happening in the world, and I will see you guys later.